The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the new media factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Take a look at this. It's our third episode. Third episode of Fever Pitch. I'm Rick Olivares. My partner over there is the running man, Jonah oh. Romero. You want to hey. explain that, man? Oh, hey, guys. So uh, <laughs> I was running a little late today and couldn't get a cab for about 40 minutes. So I had to run here <laughs> from my home, showed up all sweaty and stuff. But hey, good thing is we are here. Yep. And uh, we got two guests here, two young guns. You want to introduce them? Right. Um, to my immediate right is Miko Mabanag. He plays for Ateneo and Nomads. Miko? Uh, hi guys, uh, uh, Rick, Jonah, thanks for having us here. Right, and then to Jonah's left is Carlo Lee, also plays for Ateneo, but is Jonah's teammate with Kaya. Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, and we were supposed to have Nick O'Donnell on here today. That's about Nick O'Donnell, yeah. right? Yeah. Another yeah. teammate of mine on Kaya, another young guy, but um, Still swabbing about last night, I think. A little, little butt hurt, but we'll get into that later. No worries. Yep, so tonight's episode, we're going to be talking about Ateneo. These guys played for the Ateneo, the UAP football champions. We're going to talk about last night's epic Gaia versus Green Archers match. And we're going to go to Joe in his top five. And we've got our penalty shootout between these two gentlemen. All right. I, I know you got some questions for these dudes, man. So today, we're going to focus on college football in the Philippines. Um, for me personally, I grew up playing college football in the States, University of Memphis, so um, so oh, my hair there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they, it's a lot different. It's a lot different here. Um, so no, honestly, I don't know uh, anything at all about college football here. So that's why we got these two guys who I guess play for a good college here. Yeah. Or the champions. <laughs> Um, the best. The this best guy's part. whispering the best in my ear over here. Um, so what I want to ask is, so basically in the States growing up, the way you get into the college ranks is um, you, uh, you play club soccer. You play yeah. for a club team um, and you play high school, obviously. But uh, okay, now things there are a lot different. It's more based on club soccer than, uh, than high school. Um, you go to all these tournaments with all these college scouts around and you know, that's how you get basically discovered to go play college ball. That's how I was discovered to go play college ball. So you guys playing here, I want to know um, how, how does that happen? How did you get into Ateneo? How did you decide that's the school that you want to go play for? Uh, well, for me, because uh, last year I was in RB with uh, Nick, our teammate, Gaia, and I got injured uh, during our preparation. So I have my therapy in Moro, which is the clinic uh, in Ateneo. And then the last part of the therapy was training with the varsity team. So I trained with them and then they offered me scholarship and stuff. But I didn't finish my high school yet in Italy. So I had to go back to Italy, finish my high school, and then decide if... Italy. Oh, Italy. did you see how he said that? <laughs> Italy. He's, a, he's like a yeah. of Kobe so Bryant. Guys, <laughs> can you show us a sample of some of your Italian? Come on, come on, Carlo. Yeah. He doesn't look right. Italian, does he, but... <laughs> <laughs> he's from right. Italy. If, if you all thought that we had Marco Materazzi, we actually have Carlo Lee. I have Carlo. Italy. Sample us with your Italian, man. Allora, sono completamente filippino, però sono nato in Italia. Quindi sono cresciuto e l'italiano è la mia prima oh. lingua. <laughs> Wow. Okay, what, what uh, actually Carla meant oh, was that fever pitch is cool. And yeah, that's the best. <laughs> <laughs> all right. John, I think you wanted to ask him about his life in Italy and all that. Yeah, so how, how did you get back here from Italy? Since we're on the Italy subject. I yeah, so I finished, Mama mia. Yeah, so I finished <laughs> high school. I had to decide to, if, to stay there or come here. And then I just decided to come here. Oh, it seemed like that was a tough decision. I wanted to explore, so yeah. Okay. Nice. But I understand living in Italy, um, you were a Juventus fan. Do yeah, you ever I watch, am, you I ever watch your, their games? Yeah, 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 you are a Juventus fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so how cool was it that they won Serie A last year? Oh, it was so cool because after we bounced back from the Serie B and yeah. everything, so it was just so happy. Right. No, I never like, this guy's my teammate, and not until I'm sitting right next to him right now that I really realize that you talk different 
on the field, you don't really realize it. And right now, I'm like, dude, you sound different. No. My Italian accent. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Into the UAP season, when Ateneo entered this season 75, you were not even pegged to make the final four. Uh, was that... Did you use that as like, a, was that like a chip on everyone's shoulder? Like, hey, no one respects us, let's show them. Miko, you're... Mm, well, coming from a seven-year drought, like, yeah. yeah, we, we yeah, after after that, of course, people think that Ateneo is not that good enough to, to win a championship. Uh, um, for us, we took that as a challenge and we felt good about being the underdogs of the, the tournament. And from that, um, that's where we pulled all the strings, that's where we we got all our motivations from. Um, so I think it was more of a positive reinforcement for the team, more than a negative one. Carlo, you guys went into the season without a striker. How did you guys manage? Uh, yeah, it was hard like, to have, like, not to have a striker, a pure striker. So we focused on our defense, so yeah, and like possession and, and everything. We tried to uh, push over other details. So that's why like our top score is like a midfielder and a lot of midfielders scored. Not really we, we didn't have like a real striker. Right. Hey Jonah, did you know that on their way to the championship they had to go to three consecutive penalty shootouts to win the championship? I didn't I didn't know any of that. <laughs> no, no. So I'm still trying to fill in on the college soccer here in the Philippines. <laughs> so I really had no idea about that. Um so why don't you guys tell me about, about that journey? Uh, how long have you guys both uh, been playing Ateneo now? I've been playing for Ateneo since grade two. Wow. Grade two? Yeah. Second grade? Yeah. Wow. So you're like what? The oh. same height? Hey! <laughs> 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 I do it! I'm like, gosh! <laughs> 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 no, how, old you in, how old are you in grade two? Uh, I, I forgot actually about how old was I? I don't know. <laughs> Pretty young. Eight? Uh, two inches shorter. <laughs> <laughs> two or three. At least you're, at least you're getting somewhere on the on the ladder there. <laughs> All right, so great to you. And then you, how long are you playing for? It's my first year. First year. Yeah. And so you're eligible to play how many more years? Four. Four. So three four more years. years. Yeah. No, no. no. It's so a five times. Yeah. Five, five years. Five years. Yeah. So. Oh wow. Years. See, that's what's different in the states. You can only play four, four years, years unless you redshirt a year. Mm -hmm. right. So you get a fifth year. So that's that's a difference. Um, and how so? How many more years do you have left? I still have three more years. Three more years. Yeah. Okay. So you would be considered what uh, like a, a fresh year, a freshman this year, yeah. and then yeah, you're sophomore, sophomore yeah. on, exactly. on the pitch. Yeah. Right. Nice, nice. Okay. So you've got to play two, two, two years now. Mm -hmm. What was the difference between your team last year and this and the team this year? How did you do last year? Last year we finished second to the last. Second to last. Yeah. So you guys are awful. <laughs> <laughs> but you were getting there. Yeah, but you were getting there. Obviously, yeah. you, you got there this year, but last year you guys were terrible. <laughs> so, yeah. well, no, don't gotta worry about that. You're not there <laughs> yeah. this year. Don't worry the about difference it. this year was um, we had more depth, like the selection of the the, the players. Like um, for example, take one player out of uh, out of the starting eleven, you got another player uh, coming from the bench, and you would have no problem with that. We we're confident with the people who came in and out of the team, and yeah. It sounds like Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the incredible thing, Jonah, was last season, you mentioned, talked about last season. Yes, they were awful, the record showed it. But <laughs> what the record does not say was that they were only beaten in the last 10 minutes of the match. They'd uh -huh. only lose by a score of 1-0. Oh, okay. They were, that's when they would collapse, that, because it showed the, uh, the youth of the team and all that. But this year, uh, they were still young, but they got there. Um, at what, Carlo, at what point in the season did you think that, hey, we can win this whole thing? Uh, uh, during FU game, maybe second round, was, second round. Uh, first round. First, first round. Okay, mm -hmm. first round. Yeah, because we were the first team who we beat FU. FU and the FU was like the favorites. Team. Yeah, team FU team stands beat. for Far uh, Eastern Far University. University. Okay, you know I, I remember that game where uh, that tough FU. They they have a lot of good players. Uh, you see them also playing with Loyola. But uh, some of them are also playing with green archers, like Melissa, their striker, Ronnie Angisanda, they also come from FU. Oh, and um, what I noticed in that game was that uh, you assisted on the... Was that the first game or second game? Second round game against yes. FU? Which one? The, the, first the, game. the game winning uh, header? Was that from? That was the oh, second game. Second game. That was the second game. So what happened in that first game? 
first game we won by um, Nikos Gold. Nikos Gold. And yeah. I hear that you guys had to defend them because they kept attacking and attacking. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right. right. So, but that's when you knew that you could win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about UP? Uh, you know, UP's won mm -hmm. championships, three titles in the last four years. They're back to back champions. Yeah. They had Jingoy Valmayor, who played on the national team, the under 23 national team. And uh, what did you think about those guys? Uh, yeah. Defending champions, tough team. Did many of them play for Pachanga Diliman? You know? mm -hmm. Well, they're pretty good, I have to admit. And we had like really hard time to. To play against them, so um, I guess we just played with all our hearts, and it was all about heart. I guess not really tactically or physical. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's but cute. I want to take off from what Joanna was asking earlier about the difference in styles of play. How different is Pinoy football from what you grew up playing in Italy? Well, it's really different, like the training and stuff but is it better um <laughs> come on you can say it it's okay it's, it's better in, in italy yeah <laughs> <laughs> there you have it it's let's say it's another intensity it's another level and they're more like uh, tactically prepared it's more advanced like, yeah advanced. exactly right. right and like um we're doing trainings that like are basics in italy that here i mean okay. so yeah but like, what's the average number of hours you train in Italy? Uh, I used to train like four times a week. Okay. In the youth, uh, in the youth club. Right. Right. So. Okay. okay. All right. So, um, so we were talking about like UP, right? They they basically get their players go to play for Pachanga in the UFL. Yeah. Players from your college, I see uh, you go plays for uh, Nomads. <laughs> uh, you're playing for Kaya. Um, yes. <laughs> where where do a lot of your other players go? Are there a lot of other players from your college that are playing also UFL? Yeah, uh, most of the UP players play for Pachanga, Pachanga okay. Liman, because the coach of UP also plays plays there, uh, Coach Anto. And the FU players play for Loyola. Loyola. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then um, I know that there's like a. Like with uh, Green Archer's goalie Patrick. Yeah, I played there for was a song. time where he couldn't um, be playing for for the Archers because of college duties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how how does that work? What's how does that work? Do you have to play your season first before you can play UFL, yeah. or is it, is it like a loan type thing? How, how does that work with your guys? Because um, I heard you guys get contracts yeah, in college, contract. right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think as long as we don't um, we don't play during during the UAP for uh, any UFL team, I think. Uh, yeah, that it, it works that way. Um, the, the 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 school that you're playing for will be eligible to play for UAP if that player in that school doesn't play in any UFL team. Yeah. What what happens is the priority is the UAP. Yeah, the UAP. Yeah. And the UFL is second. Like a couple of years ago, Ai, who plays for Green Archers mm -hmm. and was playing for U University of the Philippines at the time, he played for Union. He was playing. He was playing coach for Union. And as a result of that, he was playing at the same in both U for UP and Union, and they had to forfeit the matches of UP. And the, so they don't allow it. They don't allow it. Yeah, so it, it, it takes precedence first. Right? See, college is it's, it's just like a lot different. College ball. How many? How many colleges? How, how does your season work? Are you guys all in a conference, different conferences, and then you meet in the tournament um, at the end? The big uh, tournament? We have a league. Okay. It, yeah, and then the top four teams at the end of the um, at the end of the regular season. Yeah, the regular season. Um, the top four will go into a semifinal match. It's one versus f number four, two versus number three, and then um, one and two has a twice to beat advantage. And then of course whoever wins in the semifinals goes to the finals. And then the finals, which for us kind of is kind of bogus. Um, the finals is of. Um, a best of three series. Can you believe that? Best of three. It's like basketball. It's like basketball. Yeah. 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 So how many games do you say you play in a, in a college about, season? Um, if you max out everything, that's about 17 games. 17 games? And then in a span of two months. How, how, many colleges, how many colleges have a team? Because uh, I know there's like all girls schools, right? Yeah, yeah. So how, how many? We have um, seven. Pero, uh, seven team. Uh, there are seven colleges. Um, that are competing in the UAP, but for um, for football, there are only six because Adamson doesn't have a team. Okay. 
And I think since we're on the we're seven this year, seven, seven, seven this year. Since seven we're on the this year. next year, because Annie joined this, Annie played this year. Oh, okay. right. So uh, there are eight eight schools in the UAP. Seven played this year. Next in two years' time, all eight schools will be involved. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, there. <laughs> hey, back to the day. Should get that on here. Well, right. since we're on the subject, um, and we had my girl Marielle here last week. Right. So I gotta ask a female question, of course. Who, who's the best female? Who won the female uh, for college this year? Fe. Uh, Fe won. Okay. Female. Buddy. Alright, is your do you guys have a female team? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Are they good? <laughs> the yeah, they finished fourth. <laughs> they finished fourth. Yeah, fourth? Yeah, How many teams were there? Five. Five. <laughs> Wait, five or six? Five? Five. 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 <laughs> Nico, can you use your big boy voice, okay? Okay, uh, yes, yes, you, yes, Jayla. <laughs> okay, 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 we got a few more minutes before our break. Let's talk about the championship before we go into the break. Three consecutive penalty shootouts. One to knock out LaSalle, LaSalle and two against UP. For a while, were you just guys, I mean, were you hoping that, uh, let's just bring this to the penalty shootout because Nick can save us here. Were you thinking that or not at all? Not at all. We wanted to finish the game yeah. and just win it. But happened to go to the shootout, so. So my man Nick saved you guys? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? He won MVP. He, he got MVP? <laughs> yeah. Did he show up today? Best goalie you have, and MVP. You, you have to ask what he would do after every game, Joe. And I ask, ask Carlo, ask Carlo. Yeah. Yeah. He scared <laughs> off. And, and Nick didn't show up today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we had a game last night. Nick didn't show up today. Nick, if you're watching, get you tomorrow. Get you tomorrow, I'm <laughs> So what did Nick do? He took off his shirt. Took off his shirt? Yeah. Showed his bird chest? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Every time. There you go, muscles. <laughs> <laughs> so he took off his shirt. Yeah. How many how many saves did he make? Uh, the first I don't remember. One save. One, one save? No, two saves in the first uh the first shootout. Game. Yeah, the first shootout, two saves, and then the next one, one save. Uh, two oh, saves two, again. Two two saves and then again. the last one is one now. Ah, all right. So that's about five. Five yeah. saves. Yeah. Saves during the shootout, oh, but, but some of those penalties were missed, right? Like they, yeah, yeah. they totally missed. Like they either went above yeah. the crossbar or wide. And okay, so now, okay, enough of the college stuff. All the little kid stuff over here. So now that um, you guys are all making a transition to the UFL now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how do you feel college has helped you to uh, to make this transition to the UFL here in the Philippines? Uh, What's the difference in the, in the levels? It's a higher level in UFL, so um, maybe oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's harder in the UFL, so you have to work hard. So you have to work hard. First of all, the game's faster. You're playing and it's man, faster. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 what's what's the difference between UFL and college? Would you say? Like? Well, the the intensity is different. And the players, like they are smaller in the U up. What? And then yeah, you have yeah. A, has more foreigners. So it's a mixture of like football all around. So yeah. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna be talking about these guys first season. Well, in Miko's case, it's not his first season in the UFL Division One. But when we come back, we're gonna talk more about their transition into the UFL. So stay here at Fever Pitch. From little boys to men. <laughs> what you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought <laughs> it was <laughs> time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically... <laughs> now, number two. Upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and Slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lock all doors of vehicles during inspection. Since lock. Oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking. But doors. that's the thing. Okay. This is where they get you. And this is actually. I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. it's a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harassed. Drugs are planted. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and, and other things, stores. you know. Um, <clears throat> a Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh, yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. 
And there's no defense for that. Just there's really no defense. The yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I well, throw the book at him. But the then CD as well. You, to, you know, then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know, you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch James Deacon God. and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Okay, we're back here at Fever Pitch, and we're with Miko Mabanag and Carlo Lehigh. And earlier we talked about their college ball in the UAP and Ateneo. Now we're going to be talking about their transition to the UFL, right, Jonah? Yep, now we got these microphones. If you couldn't hear us, I feel like we're eating ice cones here. <laughs> don't put it too... Sorry, Nico and uh, Carlo over here, they don't have big boy voices yet, so we had to get microphones for them. So now we will talk <laughs> okay, about Jonah. how... How these guys feel now? They um, well, you guys still play college ball though, right? Playing yeah. NFL. Okay, see that's that's another difference between the college game and the stage. You can't play professional and play college ball at the same time. You guys are lucky. <laughs> um, so how how does it feel now, um, Nico? You've been actually in the UFL with a few teams now. Um, tell tell us a little bit about that. A little about that little history you've had. Um, I know that when you were in Morocco, you said the young husbands weren't there yet. So uh, they came. So obviously you've been with the UFL since since it wasn't the league that it is today. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, bef when I was in Morocco um, back then, uh, the league wasn't that um, commercialized okay. properly. Um, and then uh, there was, I don't know, I think it's more, it was more of some, it was just a league. It wasn't like the UFL today. And um, I think the the... Um, the intensity wasn't there yet. People weren't weren't too serious about the games, and um, I don't know. I think I think the the league now compared to the league before. It, of course, the league now is better because of the money that's coming in. That's one reason why. Um, that's one reason why Morocco's there, Global's there, Kaya's there because of the money, and. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's most probably I, it. I think you had some of the Hartmans for your teammates in mm -hmm. the all, right? What, yeah. what, what was it like then? You know? Well, of course, playing with um, uh, Mark Hartman and Darren was a great, uh, big of a deal because especially with Mark, Mark's a really good player. Uh, yeah, as, uh, like you can, you can see him now playing for Morocco still and then he's scoring one of the best goals almost every week. Um, I've learned a lot from that guy and um, he's just my age, and you've really? seen. Yeah, he's just my age, and you see how big he is, and how. <laughs> yeah. What a smirk there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so the. Turned, how old are you? Six now. So then he <laughs> turned. <laughs> then he turned six, and now he's currently with the Nomads. <laughs> uh, so how's he playing for Nomads now? Yeah, we understand that you have to travel all the way from Kansas City to go to Merville. Mm -hmm. Is that a big experience? Different experience for you? Well, yeah. Now, one of the factors that I'm going through now is I drive going to training, and uh, yeah, I could. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, guys, we gotta we gotta stop with Nico's jokes over here. Right. Keep, keep going. We gotta we're gonna stop with the jokes now. Uh, um, it's tiring. It's tiring to go there every 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 night. Um, but then the experience after training is fulfilling because I get to learn with, uh, I get to learn from our coach John and some of the players from different countries. Do you understand your accents? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> it gets confusing. So if you had Brian Reed for a coach, would you understand what he's saying? Uh, most of the time, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you're used to that Scottish brogue, huh? So over here on my left, <laughs> um, from Italy, tell us, tell us, you also told me you were with um, Loyola as well Yeah. before coming to, uh, to Kaya. Um, how, how's your experience been at a young age in the UFL? Well, it was short because I trained with them like for a month and then I had to go back to Italy for school. So yeah, it was, it was great. Uh, I was enjoying training with them and they were starting to build like the team that they have now so it was quite interesting also and I still uh, I know like some of the guys that are still there and there's an Italian also in Kaya David Cortina so so I just remember like we were talking Italian during trainings and everyone's watching at us like okay nice. so yeah 
So and you feel the, at home with another Italian. Yeah, exactly. Nice. <laughs> okay. So now you're on, uh, you're on Kaya now. How, how is it? How do you like it? You better say something good. I'm, right, um, I'm sitting right next to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy because I'm learning the best football from like the best players. <laughs> no, come on. Seriously, seriously. Seriously. That's right, right. On a serious note here, how do you like, how do you like playing for Kaya? No, no. Right. How do you like playing with Jonah? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Be careful. Santi's watching. <laughs> you know, it's, it's great. It's great because the people there are so nice to me and even if I'm so young, they're treating me like one of them. Like, so I'm learning a lot and that's why I'm there. To learn so right yeah back. <laughs> you know speaking of learning last night coach david perkovich puts you in late in the second half uh, puts you in as a holding midfielder and frees up chris greatwich to go up and join in the attack last night's game was a ufl classic and you get two guys participated in that one <laughs> let me ask you was it frustrating Considering what you went through against Global, was it frustrating the outcome, or are you guys fine with it? Maybe Joanna, you should answer that first. Oh, we're definitely not. We're not fine with it. For sure, we're not fine with it. Um, you know, we beat Global. It was it was great when definitely thought comeback, right? Yeah, come. You know that we definitely thought that was gonna switch us on for the second round. Now we've uh, tied Pachanga on Saturday, and we tied uh, Green Archers last night. Um, We've given up a lot of goals lately, and it's always like the first 10, 15 minutes of a game, we're giving up a lot of goals. We're always having to come back. You know, what I do am learning from my team is that we have a lot of great character. You know, we have a great character as a team, being able to fight back and stuff. But um, right now, we're just, we're not, we're not getting the results. It's, it's frustrating, but at the same time, like, we, we have to keep, keep going forward with it, you know. And, and at the same time, these games that we're playing, um, it's a great thing for the, the league. You know, these games, the global game was televised. I mean, that was a heck of a game to watch. We happened to be, our team happened to be in it. Last night, the Screen Archers game was televised. That's, I mean, it's just football, you know. It's great football that's being played. And right. I think we're not, obviously, we want different results. But, you know, it, it is what it is. We just got to keep learning and keep improving week by week. Carlo, last night. Sensitive subject, in. guys. <laughs> <laughs> God, got me. <laughs> Carlo, last night. Yeah. Was there pressure on you coming in last night, knowing that you know um, you guys needed to at least claim the three full points? Because at that oh, point, yeah. Archers was leading two to one. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Because we 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 were down when I when I got in, so. Yeah, uh, is there pressure when David sends you in? Do you feel Do you feel nervous? Um, you better get a good warm up. <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I wanted to do well, so I was kind of pressured, but at the same time excited to play. So I just wanted to do um, to do my best. So so yeah. Jonah, when when Chris scored that fantastic bicycle kick. Did you think that, hey, this is ours? Yeah, I, I definitely thought it was ours. But it's so crazy because um, AK was sitting on my left. And he's just like, um, there's like a minute. He's like, for sure we got it. And I was like, yes. don't jinx us. <laughs> I was like, see it through. And then it went, it, and then they scored that. And I looked behind me and I was AK. And he's just like, I didn't jinx us, bro. I didn't jinx us. <laughs> I was like, dude, just wait till I, oh, man, it's uh, Sensitive subject, guys. <laughs> Sensitive. But, um, oh, man, never mind. Just did did you guys sleep well? I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep well. I mean, there was great games on last night also, though, the barcelona Bayern Munich game. Right, so right, right. didn't Car sleep much. <laughs> you, Carla, did you sleep? I sleep of class in the morning. <laughs> right, so. right. Let's ask Miko over here. You've got a game coming up. Who are you playing? Uh, we're playing against Global tomorrow. Global! Wow. <laughs> Okay, you guys one. are in a losing streak, right? Uh-huh. Four Whoa! Game, four <laughs> game losing streak. <laughs> hey, you're in a losing streak. <laughs> four games, right? Yeah. Four games, right? Yeah. Uh, pressure? Yeah, of course. There's so much pressure behind their backs right now. Like, extreme pressure. So It was seen in training last night. The intensity was really high. People were getting angsty. So like, you guys, you guys are up for the game. Yeah, of course. That's good. I don't know, man. You're on a four-game losing streak there. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's gonna be kind of hard sometimes to get up for the game. I know. Just, just wondering. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You guys are up for the game. How do you, um, 
I mean, how do you, how do you feel about going into this game against Global? Got a good game plan? Yeah, we kind of worked on some things last yeah. night, um, and we tried to um, look out, uh, look for the weaknesses of our opponents, and that's where we're gonna work our magic. No, oh, okay. magic. Yeah. They have magic. <laughs> they have magic. Okay. Um, we're, we go to the part what we call the penalty shootout, and it's a contest between these two gentlemen. Then we're going to go into Jonah's top five. Top right? five. So we're going to be asking you five questions. The one who gets the most answer wins, and I'm going to be treating him out to din- dinner tonight. Uh, but Jonah's paying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay for Nico because he can't eat that much. <laughs> I, okay. I, I, <laughs> we didn't bring our magic ball, so you guys, will, well, since you're both in college, you'll have to raise your hands to see your answers first. Mind you, you just wait for the first question, uh, for each and every question. I mean, to finish the question, rather. Okay, first question is, you have to raise your answer, your hand to answer. What is the name of the head coach of LaSalle? Coach Hans, coach Hans Peter Smith. Okay, so that's one. Nico, <laughs> Should have been studying in, in Italy. Oh, Second question. <laughs> what is Murayama's first name? Nico. Oh, slow reaction you, there, Kaya. Murayama, you. <laughs> you. <laughs> it's was, you. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> okay. That was so easy. <laughs> who, who won that one? Who won that one? Miku got it. What? He raised his hands first. The so first person. Go no, Nomads. What? Okay. <laughs> Dog. He's, he's, Third question. He's throwing out the Nomads. Yeah. You better get after it. Third question. Jonah Romero plays for what country? A, the U.S. Virgin Islands. B, Barbados. C, Guam. Guam, 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 Guam. <laughs> Guam, right? Yeah. Guam. It's Guam, Guam not Guam, Guam. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's Guam. It's Come on, Italy. Guam. <laughs> okay, the score is now two to one. Question number four. How many wins does Air Force have right now? One. Okay, uh, and the two. winner is Miko Mabana. It's not fair. He can lift his hand faster. He's closer yeah. to the ground. <laughs> he's, he's closer. To, <laughs> he's got a shorter arm. He's got a shorter arm. Sorry, you're still my team. I got your back. <laughs> okay, so. I'll see you on Thursday. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. I, I, will, I won't see you. <laughs> <that's>, uh, <laughs> where's Nico? <laughs> Okay, so Miko Mabana wins by the score of three to one. It's okay, man. <laughs> Go Nomads. <laughs> okay. Kaya plays Nomads next Thursday. Yeah. yeah. All right, Carlos. Yeah, we'll take it out on Miko. Jonah, your top five of the week. All right, so my top five this week, since we have these young bucks on our show, um, I was looking into under 23 players that um, that we'll see in the national team. That'd be nice to see in the national team um, that have potential, you know, to play for the national team. So, uh We'll start with number five. Um, we got Nick O'Donnell. He has a shirt on. He has a shirt on. Is that is that a is that a uniform for? Is that a PK save? Yeah. That's a yeah. PK save. Yeah. Is that one of you guys' PK saves? Uh, yeah. Wow, God, I'm so good at picking my pictures. <laughs> so he's at five. It'd be not, you know, he's uh, how how old's Nick? Twenty. 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 Your age. Twenty? Yeah. No, I, I knew that. <laughs> so what a teammate! What a teammate! Nick's twenty, so he could, um, you know, he's uh, he's there for the U23s. I think he could compete, uh, get some time in the net. Um, if he ever recovers from being uh, from, from, from last night, you know, uh, I just kidding. Nick, love you. you. Did great last night. Nick did a good job last night. Um, love the guy. He's a good guy. Young yeah. guy. He used to talk more. But uh, he's getting there. He's getting there. So on to number four. On to number four, we got um, – oh, it's one of you guys. Who am I going to put as number four? <laughs> oh, we'll put Nico as number four. <laughs> Nico, stand up for me, Nico. Yeah, he still fits on the screen. <laughs> Nico, Nico, I picked Nico as one of my um, – Want to stand up for me too? <laughs> I picked Nico as another U23 player. Uh, Nico, what's your preferred position? Um, center attacking mid. Center attacking mid. Yeah. Um, Nico's short, little, kind of reminds me of a, a little – kind of like a little chiefy in a way. We've had chiefy on here. So I think you can maneuver as a good, like, like a little chiefy, uh, little being the key word. All right, so on to my number three. Can you stand up for me, please? Number three. We got Mr. <laughs> we got. Uh, he's out of the frame. Hey, he's out of the frame. It's all right. Scouts are, scouts are looking for you. Um, 
my buddy, the Italian horse here, plays a, as a role number six, defensive mid. I think he'd be another good pick um, for the U23s. You know, he uh, got to you got a good touch. Yeah, you got a good touch. <laughs> Decent Thanks. touch. Uh, he needs to talk more though. He needs to talk more. I get on him every day about talking. He def he definitely knows how to talk. He might not sound right, but he does know how to talk. <laughs> That's my All right. accent. <laughs> so my number two. We got Orange Juice. It's our boy. Orange Juice. <laughs> OJ. Uh, from hey, what's this? We're seeing all kind of boys. I uh, know. It's all kind of. We got a lot of youth guys. A lot of um, yeah. young guys on our on our yeah. roster, you know. Yeah, uh, OJ deserves that. You know what? We got a lot of the, the young guys. Uh, as you can see, Kaya, we're giving into, into the young guys, giving you guys a chance, you know. Thanks, thanks. Making, helping you guys become men. Thanks. Helping them become men for the future. <laughs> it's all for the love of football. But number two, we got we got a little OJ. Um, definitely, uh, it's considered what the, the little Messi of the Philippines. The OJ happens to be from uh, my hometown in Virginia. Uh, young, young as well. Very good. Um, I think with the, the guys I've just put up right now, I think that's those are good guys for the pool for U23 or to be or or to be looked at, you know, for right. the future to help to you know to later give into the senior team. Mm -hmm. But so my number one. I have, oh, look at that good-looking guy. <laughs> wow. I got Mark Hartman. Look at that guy. Look at that hair. Oh, he's a serious yeah, guy. Yeah, this guy needs to be on the national team. He needs to be on the national team. This guy scoring goals. Um, Best player in the UFL. Every right week, now, definitely, yeah. Top player in the UFL, one of the top players in the UFL for sure. Um, you know, uh, he used to be in the national teams, had a little incident, which uh, we'll tell you about in our next episode or a few episodes from now, maybe. Yeah, we're we're going to have the heart. We're going to have them come in here. Um, I definitely think that uh, he's a big, a big body, a big player for our, um, for our under 23s. Um, he should definitely be in that pool. I mean, no matter what happened, you know, whatever happened off the pitch, on the pitch, he does, he does what he has to do, takes care of his job. Um, so there you go. Those are my top five young bucks. Woo! The top five young bucks of the week. All right. And don't worry. Dude, these two, if there's two other ones, I would have picked you, but you know, we kind of got them on the show. And <laughs> gotta gotta, oh, gotta be kind of nice. Gotta be kind of... No, I'm just kidding. These two, good guys. Two good guys. No, but seriously. But these two are good guys. All right. So we've come to the end of our show. And, of course, uh, before we go, a couple of uh, goodbyes here. Guys, want to say anything? Maybe our folks are watching. Our, our folks in Italy, uh, Carlo. Oh, yeah, I want to say Greek hi. Greek Italian, man. Uh, alla mia famiglia che mi guarda dall'Italia. Ciao a tutti e anche ai miei amici. Oh, cool. Are you cooking some spaghetti for us? <laughs> 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 Miko, you want to say some greet some people out there? Um, my mom's in the States right now. She's staying there for, like, uh four months I think okay so if yeah I'll just tell you about this and I'll, I'll send you the link to this show right. hi mom Jonah um, I got this cool shirt on from uh, Mac 2 group um, I want to thank Maxine and Kathy for that uh, anyone has anything to do with Mac 2 all the boys um, I just want to thank these two guys for being on our show for being good sports Nico being good sports about his uh, making fun of his height um, good guy. Way to, way to roll off the punches. And uh, Rick, well, what do you got? Anyone to say? Well, thanks to. I think Jonah. One of one of uh, for our next couple of shows, we're trying to bring over the Hartman brothers. Yeah. And guest uh, members of the military teams. Yeah, so sure. expect that in the next couple of episodes. Yeah. Um, right now we've just been trying to kind of get into the, more of the football, more of the little bit of the roots. Um, but uh, as as the weeks go on, we got more more show, better shows lined up. Not that these guys are terrible or anything, but we got good shows, better better guests, you know, that you might understand. Hey, hey, Jonah, uh, they, 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 <laughs> Ange Bears tells me that we got like seven thousand downloads for. Yeah, our show oh, I know, I got seven thousand, but no one's tweeting me still. <laughs> <laughs> we got downloads, but no one's tweeting me any subjects or anything, any top five. Jeez. Maybe Carly, Jeez. Carly, you ought, to, you ought to tweet him. <laughs> Yeah, we got top fives, but I got nobody tweeting me. Seventy-five thousand. Don't worry, I'll tweet you to downloads. <laughs> All right, we also want to thank Beyond the Box. And yep. the new uh, new media factory network TV for having us, Basti, Miguel, guys, Pico, everyone, Ange, Ian, everyone. Just thanks so much for having us, and uh, wanna wanna. I'm so happy that Ateneo won today. So um, there, and uh, we should see you next week, I guess. Yep, yep. But wait a minute. 
I think that Miko's got the fever. All right. Till next week. Okay. Us, Jonah, Carlo, and Miko here in Fever Pitch. We'll see you soon. <laughs>